Hello everybody, this is Elvis, the Tank Destroyer, and <laughs> I, I had this guy just really wanted a platoon. <laughs> he only had 300 games, 45% win rate, but man, he was adamant. So I'm like, alright dude, let's do it. But what I want to talk about today is... Um, Planning your uh, direct attack um, and adjusting as the enemy adjusts against you, you double down and adjust against them. I like spotting here. So, Firefly comes out, full on YOLO, full on I'm the baddest dude in the world, and I'm gonna kill all of you, type of thing. So, what I kind of do here is hang around just to kind of observe what's happening. As if you look at the minimap, they're spread out in twos. Some are at C here, and some are at B. And I'm just trying to figure out where the rest are. There's the KB all the way up there. The challenger is not paying attention to me just yet, until now, the shot, KB2 sitting back there, I do not want to get hit by him, um, really, really trying to do this, well, uh, not sure what that was, it can be a KB2, so, anyways, might have been this dude, a shot in him, and this is where I adjust my position, I see that it's easier for me to move on into this direction and cause some kind of panic attack. A little bit of weird driving there. A little bit of weird shooting too. I don't understand why this is happening. This guy takes a shot and he misses it. <laughs> Panics. KB2 is looking at me so I have to sit here for a second. Yep, he's waiting for me to come out. So this is the observing the the enemy uh, really ah uh, man that gun is right there I can't do nothing observing the enemy and what what exactly they're trying to do uh, it's four on four and things are looking kind of yeah not so good I get hit again 66 hit points I'm sure you guys are wondering okay you're gonna die you're going to die to watch this and you're dead and whatnot but this is what I'm talking trying to explain uh, adjusting your position against the enemy not for the enemy don't just blindly fly all over the place and do nothing about it <clears throat> well that AT certainly took some damage from me which was very nice I move forward try to help out a little more okay you're welcome, T29. Just in my position, T29. You know, he's slow. I can't do much for him. I'm trying to spot a little bit here, see if I can do something. Um, right now, there's not much I can do. I have to distance myself. Now, some may think, Okay, dude, where are you going? Go help T29. Why are you running away? That's not what I'm doing. I have speed. I'm maneuverable. And he's going to die anyways. I'm pretty sure of that. I'm going to cap. I got a cap. There's no, there's no buts about it. Nice. Thanks for helping me there. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right, KB2, bit of a worry. I have to make sure he doesn't see me. Really, what gave you that idea? I will show you what gave me that idea. Okay, let me see if I can spot this B cap. Let's try and take it. Goodbye. Yeah, one on one. Going for C. 
Why not? He's slow. I'm fast. I can do it. So this is what I'm saying. Adjusting yourself against the enemy. If he's pushing on one side and you're overwhelmed, before they can get there and overwhelm you fully, bail. Bail. Don't be a hero. Bail. Turn on your boost and take off. Go somewhere where you can be a bit more useful and a little more comfortable. Three caps, baby. Three caps. Okay. I don't have to do anything else here. I'm not going to engage him. There's no point. This is uh, supremacy. This is not uh, <clears throat> your regular game. Mr. Teammate over here. I think he's some young kid and he's just ecstatic. <laughs> he's just ecstatic to play the game with me. Which is hilarious. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, you convinced me. Yeah. Yeah, you missed. Um, that was a good game. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> um, I'm gonna show one more video. It'll be attached to this one. Um, and I hope you uh, enjoy this one as well because it's really good too. So that was the VK uh, German Tier Six. Um, very quick. Very nice gun, very maneuverable. You should have it if you don't. Um, I'm carrying him most of the times. Anyways, let me show you the other video. So, on the first video, we talked about uh, adjusting yourself to the territory and surrounding, observing the enemy, bailing when you before. Remember, you gotta bail before they show up, not, you know, not after, because once, once they show up, I mean, it's too late, you're, you're gone. You gotta do it before, you have to have that kind of understanding, uh, knowing when to do it. Um, <clears throat> so, in this round, I do a similar game. But since it's Helsing and I have a little bit of armor, <clears throat> and I also noticed that my team is a bit weak, and I mean, I've been playing this a long time, so I can kind of tell already what clans are weak, and this is mostly 40% players. And so is the enemy. I think they may be worse than my team. <laughs> But that's fine, you just have to work with it, you know? And check this out. VK went out there like a hero. I'm gonna do this. I kill everybody by myself. And that wasn't the case. I have to get out of here. This is what I call bailing out early. So I bail out early. Is VK gonna be a hero and come after me? Because I know. That behind me on the minimap, boys are back there. But what am I doing? I'm flanking them. I am trying to make sure that they come after me on this side, giving my team the opportunity. To do a little sniping from back here. But anyways, I can do this on my own. Um, here comes VK. Dude, this is Helsing. Don't be brave. Oh, Cherokee. You see, he has no gun to crash. Don't know what he's shooting at. Because he's not an experienced player. Ba boom A couple times. Stop. And block him from trying to do the spin on you because I can angle my turret and finish the situation. See? Done. Nice and aggressive. Nice and mean. Adjusting your position. I have pulled three tanks away from my team. Oh, that's not nice. Why would you say that? Just not nice. Now you're gonna be on YouTube and everyone will know 
you're a ni not a nice person. I don't stop with. I don't. I don't stop with the aggression. You never stop. I've seen games where I think, okay, these guys got it, and they don't. Pass through. Little dodge. Come around. Take out the Mr. Fast Fire and Gun. 203. Another 388. Yeah. Similar tactics, but you have to be able to understand what I'm saying. Adjust. And don't do it too late. Don't get tempted. Oh, I can hit that guy. He's right there. I can take him. Uh, I can hit him. And behind them are four of his buddies. Just forget about him. Reset your camo. Stop for a second. Reset it. Move on. Come around on the other side. Or, or you can stay on the same side. But, you know, adjust your shooting position. So let's say you're by a stone, you're shooting on the right side of a stone, you reset your cap and shoot from the left side. Don't shoot in the same position all the time because for someone like me, I see you doing that, I'm just going to reset my camo, put my gun out through the bush, wait for you for a second to come out and I'm gonna cause substantial damage don't do that you know people that don't do that surprise me because i'm like oh okay this guy knows what he's doing i gotta be a little more careful but yeah <clears throat> good stuff good game um i hope i explained that well i know every map differs but you have to be able to recognize where your enemy is and what they're doing and how quickly you have to adjust your position to move elsewhere. Be patient because it pays off. Both of those games paid off very nicely because I adjusted my position. If I didn't take off on that first game when I did and went on the other side where things could be a little bit lighter for me, we would have lost that game. That would have been over with. Really. But decisions like that sometimes... It's all about you. Sometimes it's really all about you. You're the last player. One on one, one on two, one on three. But, okay. Thanks, guys. I will see you whenever I see you on the next video. Have a good one.